for your coffin before we go out for the lot. What would I gain? Nothing. So when I sleep your eyes. But um, we're going to continue. We have a uh, welcome inside DJ Magic J. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm all right. Good. Good to have you here. Um, we've just been speaking with Ty, and he's been giving us a easy little background into um, how he got into the hip hop industry mm. as a dancer originally. Okay. Um, I didn't even know. Way back in Uncle Ty was a dancer. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And this is what it's all about. It's like, yes, you know, sir. getting this document and letting people know that, listen, we haven't just arrived. We're not just MCs or producers or doing what we're doing right now. There's a history behind this. There's a history behind us. And we're going to create that legacy. So it's there for the youngers that's coming up. Yes, sir. To look and see exactly where they got inspired from. And um, not to give away your age, but you're one of the... Youngers who's kind of broken through. You're, you're, that, you're that age. You're that age. Kind of mature age. Well, the, well, well the, the industry now. Yeah. Um, you know, they call me Uncle Magic Uncle because Magic, because of the age that I am. Yeah. And I've been in the game since I was thirteen, and even going back from, you know, growing up in in Tottenham and growing up around sound systems. And my uncle had a sound system, rest his soul, um, Destiny Sound System, uh -huh. and. And growing up in that era and growing up going to Ferry Lane Estate and seeing the old schoolers doing the doing the uh, B boy in, you know, from the you know, the demon boys from the London Pussies and mm -hmm. stuff. I was always involved in that as a child, but I was that I was that little kid because I grew up in the Rasta culture. I was that little kid saying, you know, Celestia I bless her to the king type yes. of thing and yes. you know, listening to to roots and culture and roots and dub music, you know what I mean? The fact I call it foundation music. All mm -hmm. right. You get what I'm saying? Right. So with me listening to that and then growing up around you know the nitty gritties, the tennis swords, the Aswads, yeah. and, and and Maxi Priest, who's basically like family to me. Right. You know, being around those people, seeing them as a child, you know, that gave me the inspiration and the buzz, especially with my uncle also um, pushing me to the to them to the music and making me get into it. And now his son has got a recording studio. You know, my cousin's name is called M Stair. He got a recording studio called um, Elite Studios. Awesome recordings. You know, we pushed away he went into production i went into do you know what i'm gonna be a dj i went i went into djing and i was just a hardcore hip-hop guy you know what i mean i was like that hip-hop guy listening to you know um Della's black moon you know what i mean from that era my first song that i bought hip-hop wise i think it was tim dogs at profanic wax yeah, or something like, yeah. something like that if I remember right, something so, like so, that. Something wax, was it something? Yeah, like profanic wax or something. Yeah, something wax. Yeah, like that was my first introduction of buying. But I actually bought um, High Five Record. Okay. Remember the, um, the yeah, group High Five? High Five? Yeah. I bought them from Zen Records in Broad Lane, N15. Oh, wow. I kept it in the hood. Zen, actually, yeah. Zen is still there, you know? Yes, he is. Assume that they knew it all because the DJ could come out of nowhere and play a new record. Like, I remember the first time I heard The Roots in a club in ever that was the first time i heard uh the roots was played by dj swing rest in peace dj mm -hmm. swing and it was that's got oh, dun, 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 that's got dun, dun. that's the first time there you go that was the first time and then two years later they were living in london okay. and they were coming to the club so they were you know they like, the roots lived here the wow. first, the first album, the album of "Do You Want More." They lived here. They were, and they were coming around. They were coming to Flavor of the Month. They would come to uh, Hyde Park. They yeah. came to the park where Mark and Limit were alive. Okay. Chilled out. Yeah. Did a big uh, rap cipher. You know, people was people was coming and doing certain things. Okay. So, when did you kind of get into? Well, I, I want to go back into the fashion, but yeah. When did you actually start rapping yourself? I think I started rapping. Privately, I started rapping from time. Yeah. But I was more I was more concerned with being in a jam and dancing. Yeah. So when I I think when I took the mantle of MC was when I started doing the Max and Dave um, um, right. competitions. All right. And there then I go. came second. So right. Right. Was that was my favorite show, you know. Yeah. That was one of my favorite shows because those are the those are the days when when um, Kiss yeah. was on Holloway High Street, right? right? I remember I went there as um, I think it was early 
for your late primary school, early secondary school, okay. I, I went there and I was speaking to Max and Dave, yes. and I was so intrigued with what they was doing um, when it came to the radio p um, personality, the presenting yeah. and stuff like that. Like I stuck it on them as a kid, and they was looking at me like, mm. there was some. You know what? To this day, Max and Dave and the Hard Rock Soul Movement so important. Yeah. Like e even their position within Kiss FM yeah. and, and Kiss FM is important in Foundation. regards to uh, black music in the UK. And actually, like, has anybody seen the documentary that Rodney people together about? Um, yeah, Gordon, Gordon Mack and all them was on there. Yes, yeah, yeah, if yeah. You yeah. Watch it's that on YouTube. Documentary, yes, on YouTube yeah. You know the beautiful thing about that documentary is, I didn't realize that people fought with their lives mm -hmm. to Literally. make to get this music on into the air. That the UK was so against yeah. um, reggae, groove, soul, reggae was so against it. Yeah. People don't know that. We just see it in the pop charts and think everything was That's an easy ride. Exactly that. They didn't yeah. realize. They don't realize that the police were hunting yeah. people down. Blood, sweat, if, tears, man. If you were pirate radios, if you know people were literally run, risking their lives to play this music. Like yourselves. Talking about, so that's what Ty was saying, they was risking their life. I was like on that, that 24 block tower block, yeah, looking that, down, thinking yeah. that, oh, is DTI going to come up? Is, is certain yeah. mandem from the block going to come up? People risking their lives. Like, yeah. if you got arrested, that's a couple years. Exactly. Yeah. for music. Yeah. But I was just doing it for, for the passion and the yeah. love for, for the my culture, community, man. for the culture, yeah. and especially because when I was that kid, I was that boy in the corner, always in my room. No one knew if I was in or out. I was in my room. Reading, reading, if you remember the magazines, Word Up, yeah. mm. Source Magazine, Hip Hop yeah. Connection, Rap True. Page. Right. You get me? I was, I was that kid and listening to Max and Dave's, listening to Tim Westwood back in the days, and, and, and 279. 279. 279. I saw him the other day as well. Yeah. And all the real iconic guys. Oh my God. And, and I was that kid, like, I was just soaking in everything like a sponge. And that's what you're saying about music and how this generation needs to not just understand, they need to overstand where this music is coming from because even give it tracking back a bit i remember when hmv was in wood green mm -hmm. i went in there and some um, they was playing some some rare groove music and these kids were saying oh why why is this why is hmv playing this old school rubbish but i went up to the kid i said see this old school rubbish what you're saying is rubbish you see the p diddies of the world see the see the jermaine the Pre, see the timberlands see all these producers what you're idolizing now and you're hearing all these beats yeah. They're the ones who are sampling these beats. Biggie Small's first album, Juicy, go. and all these songs. Talk the yeah, thing. Talk the they, thing. they're sampling, and you are dancing to it. Yeah. You get me? And that now that I am, I just turned thirty-seven in July. Like I can look at myself and say, "Is damn, I've been in this game for a long time. I am, a, I am an uncle to the game, yeah. but I'm still a kid." Yeah. You, you know what? Well, I think it's really important that we recognise that. Yeah. Thank you for being here, and I think that we have this energy. Sometimes we're fighting, like I'm definitely as an artist now, I'm fighting a music industry that is trying to suggest to me that, you know, it's not about you anymore, it's about these people. But the problem is nobody's doing what I'm doing. Nobody's been doing what I'm doing. So why are you telling me to leave my own house when no one else can make a house like I'm making it? Yeah. So the point I'm making is we have to change the narrative in regards to how we view ourselves with the music, right? Because when we were younger, because of the nastiness that people attach to us doing this music, mm -hmm. we, we always considered it as a thing that you wouldn't make a career, yeah. that you wouldn't be doing for long. But the truth of it is that we all got kids that were sitting crawling along, crawling on the floor while we're mixing and playing tunes. But, but we never knew that would be the case. That's right. We never knew you'd have no. a mortgage no. and still be loving this hip hop music. You never knew that you know what I mean? you'd be attending parent meetings yeah. and still love Tim Dog. Right. You didn't know that, but it's the truth. <laughs> Because the fact is, this music is going to last for a long time. Forever. This this era that we're talking about, yeah. which we have to document, was so important and we didn't have a platform where we could talk about it. But the way that people used to come and dance mm. and enjoy themselves and the excitement that we used to have, regardless of whether police or the media yeah. paint it as violent, it was actually the best days of my life. Don't get twisted. Yes, there were some guys out there that one thing was on their mind. Yeah, I just need to show this girl how I can bust two dance. I know what and, you're talking about. You know, I mean, we're going home tonight. But we used but to be we used to, in the dance. Yes. And we used to, as well as 
communicating and dancing. We used to, at the end of the day, you actually try to talk to somebody and you dance with them. And it would be a one dance or a couple of dances if you're lucky, and then you separate and go about your business. But it was all part of the interaction. That's right. Now it's, it's, it's almost like it's. It's, it's a all standoffish, basically. It's you know, and, and yeah. going, going even it's further like back, death. going even further back, as dance, as a dance, and a great dance, I'm sure you was back then. Uh, well, all right? Uh, I'm yeah, yeah, man. I, I mean, I was a little proud. Even with the dance battles, yeah. okay? Um, you would have seen quite a few in your time and yeah there was a bit feisty but when you came to dance with the girl there was like an energy going on there as well yeah there was you understand? and let me tell you something the whole winding up yeah here's the thing so you, you're doing backflips yeah you're doing all splits you're doing all crazy stuff and then right. someone puts her on a mint condition yeah. and you're like do you know what oh. excuse me <coughs> excuse me mm -hmm. and then you you start dancing and then you have got to your waist has got to go all the way down and you've got to look like it's not a pressurized thing. <laughs> you've got to look like you're handling it. Like you're handling it. That's like, right. Yeah, 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 that's so, so guys, right. Let, let, let's, get, let's get the ladies perspective. Right. Right. So Sims so, mode is, is obviously here with us and you can see like The club scene in the 90s, right? So if you're a guy who's been mm. dancing heavily mm. to hip hop, mm. typing up, remember you're sweating, mm -hmm. right? Us ladies are kind of like stush or bougie, we're just chilling. Was that you? Kind of like. Yeah. Okay, I'll, talk to yeah, the team. Right. So it's like if I'm going to have a guy more or less drenched, sweating, coming oh, towards me saying, no. yeah, I want, you know, can I have a dance? Mm. I'm not going to dance with you because I've got my nice dress mm -hmm. on, perfume, everything here done for you to come with your sweaty self. Towards me, I'm like, oh, no. do you know? You know, like, when I walked in, uh, first thing I walked in, say I was hot in here, but I, I mentioned to her that my my stepfather said, anytime it's hot, bring your face flannel, even if it's in the it's, dance, yeah, even if it's in the dance, bring I'm your face because you don't want to go to a girl and your face is cold with sweat, sweat because the girl that. would just look at you and go, oh, it's okay. Yeah. Well, you, you see what you just mentioned? That is mm. an elder passing down information. This is I our had to culture. Yeah. This is our culture. I can't I can't walk up to um, certain people and be like, you know, my uncle told me to wear a face channel or blue. They're not gonna understand that. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. EastEnders? No. <laughs> I'm talking about this here, right here, is a culture. There, there, there was a there was a culture to etiquette in regards to how you spoke to the bouncer. Definitely. Yes. If yeah. you didn't want to get your face tumped in. Right. right. And it's a funny thing, I'm a security guard right now. Okay. Well, here you go. Please don't <laughs> tell me. Alright, so we're, we're gonna hold it. With the legendary tie right here, bro. Come on, legend in the game. Game. You don't know who he is. I'm gonna put a video up on my vlog. You know who he is. Legend in the game. Wait a minute, we got some problems. Wait a minute, let's think this through. Got some issues we need to deal with. Fall down, yo, that's not cool. The next day. Yo, what's going on, people? It's Magic J right here. You get me? I'm down here at Greenwich O2 Arena, you know, for an event called Celebration. You know what I mean? I've got one of my broskies inside the building. You know, I don't know what he's doing. He's packing up things, he's preparing shit. You get what I'm saying? This guy's always on the job. Oh my gosh. You got bare Negroes coming in. I got, hey, hey, let me let this guy jump on my vlog. What's going on? It's your boy. <laughs> you get Come on. Ah, get me. Come on. People just rolling up, rolling up, rolling up. Just like that. You get me? What is this boy doing? Look at him. Oh, yo, what are you saying? Listen, it's your boy Cobra, aka Cobra, and we're out here right now. Magic chair. Mm hmm. Hey, all two in the goal. Celebration. That's a kid on stage. I don't know. Come on. 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 <laughs> Is that it? What are you saying? What are you saying? I'm excited. You excited? Yeah. Kimmy cheers. Get me. <laughs> 
bad girl friends of the boy. You get me? <laughs> What's going on, Ez? Hi. Okay, so cute. I am. Sorry. We need Why to. Husband yet? Cause last time we spoke, you said never had a husband. Ah, good girl. Bam! <laughs> I want so that you can, when I send this back to you, you can see what your face was doing. And so you can look at it and let me know if this is the behavior you should be giving me right now. Eh? Tell me. Is this the behavior that you should be giving me? I'll follow you. Because you're wearing my Jackson hat. Let's see how that is. I go by the name of MC Momello. I'm here to help my sister out. DJ Headmistress, please give her a round of applause. Are you guys ready to dance? Are we ready to celebrate the legend that is Fela Anikola Kutsi? If you know you're ready to celebrate Fela, put your hands in the air. Right now like this. Come on right now like this. Come on. Headmistress, are you ready? Okay. I want some energy. I want to see people dancing. You ready? You with me? I can't be too on my fault. Okay. People at the top, if you're ready. Oh. Call me. People at the top, come on. Hey. What? Ladies, come on. Let's go, let's go. 
We don't know how. Uh, we, we got kids in the building. We don't know you. We got kids in the building. Exactly. This girl look, looking like money. Look at her. Look like American dollar. So do you. You look like oh, a superstar. No, I need. Look, look. My lips busted. So I'm, I'm mash up. I need a wife now. You start see, <laughs> see, 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 see how the women treat me. Just walk away. Hey, we got the man there, we got the man there. All these, all these, all these, all these Liverpool fans are giving me grief. Yes, and I don't know why. Uh -huh. That game is past. I respect Liverpool. Please respect yourself. Yeah, that's right. 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 That's we are about to shut it down. Make sure you know. If you don't shut it down, I'm gonna come on that stage and fly kick you, bro. Shutting it down. Mm -hmm. That is. See, see, I'm doing this shit right. All I can see is bling. Look at, look at this. Wow. See, bro, bro, you can't let me one, bro. Just, just let me one for, for, for eternity, and I'll be alright, bro. Just, no, 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 no. All I got is this. Natural shit. See? See? Where does this come from? Come this side. Yeah. The bad guy. Hey, meet again. I'm fire. I see you acting. Yeah, no matter. You're not. 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 you Moving mad. Moving mad. You get me? Moving mad. You know about that. Yeah. Who's moving mad? Yeah. You know about that. Both the bad guy. Brother for life. Coupe. 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 What the way, G? Man with the 1991 hairstyle, bro. Take it, fucking back, my G. Jeez. Family, family, family. Baby, what about my jeans? Long time. Bro, you always eating something, bro. Nothing goes nowhere, bro. Bro, I need to get skinny like you, my G. Yeah. Where you been from? Um, so hard, my boy. Oh, come on, bro. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You, G. Crucial. Yo, what going, family? What up, G? Tell them who you are, G. I go by the name DJ on Beats, man. Come on, the one and only. The one and only. The live, go to. Yo, in the gold. This is my vlog. Magic J. You get me? Jamaican guy who loves Afro. I'm DJ Makanaki. 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 You get me? Yes, bro.